getting your baby outside is so good for them and it's great for you too. So today in this video, we'll be covering five nature play tips and tricks that will help you and your baby. Hi, my name is Penny Whitehouse and I help parents like you use nature play to create a happier, healthier childhood for your kids. If you want simple tips and tricks that make getting your little ones outside easier, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I make a new video. This is a series of videos for different ages. So if you have a child in a different age range, then check out the description below for nature play tips and tricks suitable for the age of your child. So you've got a baby, you may be sleep deprived, dealing with sore breasts, looking like you've been running a marathon in your pajamas <laughs> perhaps you're experiencing all three i've totally been there <laughs> you're adjusting to the changes in your life you're in a battle between being your old independent self and the new you with a baby on your hip 24 hours a day there's no denying that it's a challenging time a beautiful time but also very challenging then people come into your life and tell you what you should be doing uh, that's kind of me right now. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, don't stop listening. You can take it or leave it. The most important message I want to get across today is to take care of you and your baby first. And if you can, and only if you can, take your baby outside. Why take your baby outside? <laughs> well, most of the time it's because they love it. Babies are happy outside. If your baby's a little out of sorts, take them outside and it's likely they'll feel happier instantly. It also gets you out of the house and clears your mind so that you too can feel better. I have a blog post all about how we become better mothers when we go outside too. So I'll link to it in the comments below if you're interested. There are so many benefits to taking your baby outside. Imagine the different sensations they're experiencing outside. How much they get to see that's different from inside their home. How many different colors there are to see and smells. Enjoying nature together is also a lovely way to bond and connect with your baby. When was the first time you took your baby outside to enjoy nature together? Tell me in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video, please consider giving me a like. We've talked about why going outside is good for you and your baby, but how do you get started? How do you make it easy? And what can you do with a baby? They're not even walking yet. <laughs> They're predominantly sleeping, feeding and crying. <laughs> Here's three tips to get you started. Number one is start at home. Nature play doesn't have to be overwhelming. During this time, while they're little, take it easy. You don't have to take them hiking or to the beach. Start at home by dressing them for the weather and going out for short periods of time. If it's sunny, lay a picnic rug outside and enjoy looking at some plants. If it's cold, dress them warmly and let them experience the colder weather for a few minutes while you ooh and are at their adorable pink cheeks. <laughs> in Norway and most other Scandinavian countries, children nap in the outdoors starting as young as two weeks old in all weather, including days as cold as minus four. And there's a heap of benefits of doing so. I'm not suggesting you do this, but the point is children can cope with a little bit of cold. I've linked to my friend Linda McGurk's article why Scandinavians leave their babies out in the cold below just in case you're you know intrigued and curious and you'd like to learn more. She also has a book There's No Such Thing As Bad Weather which is all about her Scandinavian secrets to raising happy healthy and confident kids. Number two is go for short walks. Taking your baby for short walks in a pram is not only good for your baby but it can be so good for you too. Walk to your local park walk around the block, walk with another mother. Gosh, we all need adult conversation during the first year of their life. Best of all, if your baby starts fussing, it's not too far to get them home. Number three is when you're ready, go a little further, but only when you're ready. Adventures aren't for everyone, but if you're keen to get out and soak up some extra vitamin N with your baby, there are two things you need to remember. Number one is be prepared. Be sure to have everything you need for a safe, comfortable excursion. So for example, you'll probably, you know, if you're going out in the sun, you'll need sunscreen and you might need some extra clothing or if it gets a bit chilly, you need some blankets. So be sure to pack everything you need beforehand so that you don't have to cut your trip short. Number two is to keep your expectations low. So rather than wanting to hike to a particular destination, make the goal to enjoy the beauty of the nature around you during your walk. Rather than expecting to spend the whole day at the beach, make your goal to let your baby put their feet in the sand for the very first time. Keeping your expectations low helps you enjoy the journey for however long it lasts. 
Taking your baby outside is all about slowing down and doing what you can and making them feel safe and secure while they're out in the great outdoors. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like. And also, if you have any other helpful tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments below. I'm here to help you make it easy to get your kids outside and help them reap all the benefits that playtime in nature has to offer. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I make a new video. And thank you so much for watching till the end. I appreciate you helping me share this with other parents so that we can get more children exploring their natural world.